Lesson 3.5, Relate Addition and Subtraction, we're going to talk about related facts, which are like fact families. Addition and subtraction are related because they undo each other. Related addition and subtraction facts have the same whole and parts. Here we have 3 plus 2, that's the parts, the add-ins, and the whole would be the sum. For subtraction, the whole amount would be this first number, and the parts would be what we're taking away and the difference, the answer. This rectangle is a bar model. We have a bracket down here. A bar model can help us see the parts and the whole. The add-ins would be the parts, and the whole would be the sum. And this bracket down here shows the two parts being joined to show the whole. A bar model can also help us find a missing part. Here the missing part is the sum, it's the whole. We have six and four. Together, do you know what they equal? If you said 10, you're right. Now on the bar model, we've got one of the parts missing. We have one of the add-ins missing. Something plus four is equal to 10. It must be six. So we had a part missing here. We had the whole missing here. We had an add end missing. We had the sum missing. Here we have two related facts. We have four plus two is equal to six and six minus four is equal to two. We have our add ends, we have our sum, and this number is called the minuend. This number is called the subtrahend. We take the subtrahend from the minuend and find the difference. And the sum of the addition problem will be the minuend of a related subtraction problem. And one of the add ends of an addition problem will be the difference of a related subtraction problem. Can you see the same three numbers? A 4, a 2, and a 6? A 4, a 2, and a 6? We can use addition facts to remember differences because related facts have the same whole and parts. Related facts use the same numbers. Here we have a related addition and subtraction fact. They're using a 5, a 7, and a 12. 5, 7, 12, 5, 7, 12. Here we have a related addition and subtraction fact of 9, a 5, and a 14. We have a 9, a 5, and a 14. It's the same numbers. We can write the sum and difference for the related facts. We have the same three numbers, a 4, a 7, and our subtraction starts with an 11. This must be 11. And if we're using the same three numbers because it's a related fact, the missing difference here would be the 7. We're using a 4, a 7, and an 11 as the related fact numbers. Here we've got a 6 and an 8 for the related subtraction fact. Our minuend is a 14. That means that sum must be 14. The number missing from this related fact is a 6. The difference must be 6. Related facts use the same numbers. Subtraction will undo addition. Here we have an addition fact. 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. We can undo this, which means the opposite. We have 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. And addition will undo subtraction. Here we have subtraction, 13 minus 5 equals 8. We can do the opposite. 5 plus 8 equals 13. So these numbers are related like a family. We have the same three numbers that we're using for these related facts. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. We can write a related subtraction fact for an addition fact. Here's our addition fact. 
So we see our numbers are a 6, an 8, and a 14. To write a related subtraction fact, we take the sum and make it the menu end. That's the whole amount we're going to be subtracting from. Then we have a 6 and an 8. We can put the 8 here and the 6 here. And we have 14 minus 8 is equal to 6. We can also switch them around and do 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. Notice that the menu in is the same for both subtraction facts. We only switched around these two numbers. See? Mr. Kim planted eight cherry trees and five apple trees. How many more cherry trees did he plant than apple trees? So we think we need to find the difference of the amount of cherry trees and apple trees. And difference means subtraction, doesn't it? We can circle the important information. It's important that there were eight cherry trees and five apple trees. We can think of a related addition fact to solve this. We have 8 minus 5. We can think 5 plus some number is equal to 8. We can start at 5 and count on. 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 3. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Then, using this related addition fact, we know that 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. That means Mr. Kim planted three more cherry trees than apple trees. Sarah made nine red bracelets and seven blue bracelets. She sold five bracelets. How many bracelets does she have now? We think. We first need to find how many she made in all. Nine and seven are important numbers. That's how many she made. Nine plus seven more. Nine plus seven, we can think of nine plus one plus six, can't we? We can make a 10 and 10 plus six, well that's 16. She made 16 in all, but then she sold 5. We need to do 16 minus the 5 she sold. We can draw little counters. We can make 16 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can cross off 5 of them. One, two, three, four, five. That leaves ten and one more. That leaves eleven. After she sold five bracelets, she had eleven bracelets left. So remember that related facts undo each other and they use the same numbers. Our next lesson, 3.6, we're going to practice subtraction facts. And I hope you'll join me there. And I hope I'll see you again. Bye.